The concern of residents of Alajusim Cinema was clear that the footbridge over the Odo River has become a death trap following Metro News' expose in which residents accused the Member of Parliament of neglecting them, the MP for Ayawaso Central, Honorable Henry Kwarty, has responded by saying all efforts to get roads and highways ministry to fix the bridge have proven futile. Now, I have come to inspect this. I've looked at it about seven times. Reasons why it has delayed is that, as you can see, it is not a contract that you can just call a mason by the roadside or a carpenter by the roadside to give to him or her to do, because you need a crane. You need the ex ex an ex expert. So I've spoken with Hydro and I've spoken with Highways. Um, in fact, even last week, the engineer for this area came to take photographs and all that. Again, I have spoken to the minister myself. I engaged him. Quickly directed his deputy uh, director in charge of maintenance to have a look at it. So it is not as if uh, we have re uh, 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 neglected residency. He has, however, decided to, in the interim, rehabilitate the bridge with his own resources within a week. But to suggest that I don't even know where this bridge is. It's rather unfortunate. When I stood here, this was one of the uh, flashpoints during 2012 elections, and I stood here for more than three hours. And so definitely and certainly, on authority, I know this bridge, and I'm working on it. And as I'm saying, uh, I have decided to use my own money in the interim to get this work done. I'm sure, I am sure, I don't want to mention the day, but as I said, inshallah, if God gives us life, you come back here with your crew exactly to this week and tell the viewers the story. Metro News will follow up in a week's time to see if indeed the MP, Honorable Henry Quarte, will rehabilitate the bridge as promised and keep you informed.